What's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is November 28, 2017. My outing number 154 of this year. And as you guys can see, I need to get a new camera stand uh, because this poor camera stand can't really support winds in the range of 15 to 20 miles per hour. It is shaking like crazy, right? And I apologize for that, okay? I'm gonna work on getting a new one of those. But anyways, today I'm here in New Jersey. We are at the Shark Bay. And the objective for today is actually pretty simple. We are going to go after the last species of flounder in New Jersey that I don't have yet. So in this video, I am actually going to try to catch a new species. If you have been following me here on the channel for a good while and you have watched my previous videos, you guys know that I have already caught the summer flounder, the Paralictis dentatus. I go there during the summertime, usually around the Barnegat Inlet, you know, usually with my friend Dave, Simplex Fishing, and we catch a few of them here and there, you know. And just recently here on the channel also, I caught the window pane flounder, right? AKA sundial totally by accident from the surf, right? That is the Scophthalmus aquosus, right? And uh, if you guys watched the last video on the channel, you also saw that Mike Potocny, first state fishing, just caught his first ever uh, window pane flounder, right? Sundial, that was actually pretty interesting. So in this video, we're going after the last boss, okay? The last one of the three general species of flounder in New Jersey. We are going after the winter flounder. Rumor is that at this time of the year here in the Shark Bay, the winter flounder are biting pretty good. End of November, beginning of December, and the season is actually open until the end of December. According to New Jersey rules and regulations, you can take two of them home every year, minimum of 12 inches, and I have never caught you know, a winter flounder yet. I think the scientific name of the winter flounder is like super complicated. It's like Pseudoneuronectis americanus, something like that. So, you know, I got some bloodworms, I got some light tackle, I put my rods in the water, and uh, we will see if we will finally be able to catch one of those today and add it to my species list, okay? So today should be good. Stay tuned and we will see what will happen. Oh man, I'm snagged on something, I think. Yeah, I'm snagged on some grass or some stuff like that, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. There's something out there. Yeah, what is that? Oh yeah, look at that. What the heck is this? Some kind of clam barnacle or something like that? first catch of the day man some weird ass we gotta leave it here this is gonna be our treasure our treasure thing right here oh this is a crab man this is definitely a crab i don't think this is a fish it's feeling heavy like a crab feels i don't know if it is a fish man it may be two crabs i don't know man if it is a fish i'm not feeling it I think it's a crab. Man, it's heavy like a crab. Oh, what? It's a fish? Is it a crab? It's a crab, it's a crab. Damn, son, it's a, it was a big ass ugly spider crab right there. <laughs> Got the bottom blood worm. Oh, man. Oh, what the heck? I think it's another crab. It's not fighting, it's not fighting quite like a fish. Man, I don't know. Those winter flounder are odd. It could be a fish, could be a crab. It's feeling pretty odd. Oh, no, it's a crab, it's a crab. He got off, he got off. Man, I don't know, man. The bite is very subtle, very little. You never, you just never know what it is. You know what I'm saying? That looked like legit bite. That looked like a bite. That looked like a bite. Fish on. This is fish. 
This is not crab, guys. This is fish. First fish coming up here. This is 100% fish. This is not a crab. Oh, man. Got two crabs today so far. Finally, a fish coming up. That's a fish, dude. That's maybe my first ever winter flounder. Maybe my first ever winter flounder. Time to flip it. Oh, yeah, son. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. My first ever winter flounder, man. And just like I said, this is a chunky type of fish, okay? Oh my goodness gracious, look how chunky this dude is. I don't think this is a keeper, but uh, it is chunky. Wow, this is one cool species of fish right here, I ain't gonna lie. My first ever winter flounder. You, this is chunky, guys, I mean, wow! This is a really chunky fish compared to summer flounder and sundial, okay? This one, I don't think it makes the cut. I'm gonna measure it real quick. We will see. Yeah, it is great when you don't... It's great when you really don't have a ruler to measure. But it is 12 inches and I know this is 6 inches. This is definitely bigger than 12 inches, okay? Definitely bigger than 12 inches. Check this out. This is 6 plus six because of the dollar bill or ten dollar bill six inches at six plus six and we have the the red as a rest this is definitely bigger this is a keeper that we got right here very very nice let me just quickly show you guys though right the features of the winter flounder since we're going to keep this one this is the only flounder around this area that has its re its head when it's pointing right this way it's got its head pointing to the right and check this out check the size of this mouth it is a very small mouth compared to other flounders out there which is why you gotta use small hooks for these guys and I gotta tell you this is a chunky fish look look at this dude this is full of meat right here this is gonna be some nice dinner new species for me very nice I think this is a crab. It's feeling like a crab. Dude, it's gotta be like a big ass crab, dude. Oh man, there's a lot of crabs around here. Oh yeah, it's surface already. It's a big ass spider crab. Man, this crab just don't give me a break. Look at that. Wait, is that a spider crab? What crab is this? We caught like so many different types of crabs today already, man. I don't even know what this is now. No, this is definitely not a spider crab. This is a mean ass looking crab. This is what it is. Look at this. Look how mean. <laughs> Look how mean this crab looks, dude. This looks like another version of the blue crab. Not quite the blue crab, but dude, this looks mean, man. Why? Why are you gonna eat my blood worms, huh? Why, why are you gonna eat my blood worms? Answer me. Answer me. Why are you gonna eat my blood worms, huh? Leave my blood worms alone, okay? Now, you listen up. You are lucky. I am not going to eat you, okay? Because you are actually, I don't even know if it's legal to take the species, but you actually look pretty yummy. But you lucked out today because I'm not looking for you, okay? I'm looking for the flounder. So go back down there and tell your family no more biting on the bloodworm today, okay? Gee. Crab on, man. Not a big junk. Oh my god, this is a big ass crab, man. At least if these crabs were edible, you know what I'm saying? But most are like spider crabs, weigh a ton too, and they don't fall off the hook. That's the worst part. Don't fall off the hook at all. Are you kidding me? Whole crab, whole crab is gonna pop up here, man. <laughs> what the heck is that spider? It's a big ass spider crab. Look at that, oh my goodness. It's a big ass spider crab, look at this. Ugly ass this spider crab, look. It's called spider crab for a reason. It's playing dead on me, <laughs> it's, it's totally playing dead on me too. It has no idea what has happened to him yet. Look at that, 
My name is Leo Shang. We are going to enter the spider crab zone. No way, I ain't gonna do that. Are you crazy, man? All right, just go back, will ya? Look at this ugly, dude, ugly ass crab. Look at that. For real though, spider crabs are kind of uh, ugly, but this one is like one of the most perfect the spider crabs that I've seen in a while, you know? It's got all claws and stuff. Look at that. Super, man, super weird stuff. <laughs> what is new, huh, folks? I mean, this is the part of the video that I usually tell you guys, look, I run out of time. And today was a really tough day of fishing out here, right? Which, seriously, it is nothing new. But <laughs> anyways, I landed only one fish today, man. Only one winter flounder. It was a chubby one. It was a slab, you know, very thick, 13 inches, I think, about it, you know. But that was it. All the rest of the day, just a bunch of crabs, man. Maybe I should change the name of the channel, huh? Extreme um, Philly Crabbing. I mean, Extreme New Jersey Crabbing, huh? But anyways, just to give you guys a summary of what happened here today. I'm still fishing here at the Shark Bay, as you guys can see. I'm using all light set up, right? Because, I mean, winter flounder, we're talking about a species of fish that it doesn't get too big, right? I hope you realize in this video, I don't have a net, right? But if you come fishing here, get a net, you know? I took the, ch I took the chance of flipping that fish up here, you know? But as you guys can see, it is a little bit of a steep drop, you know? And sometimes with flounder, different types of flounder, you know, you flip them up without a net, and you know, as soon as they get out of the water, boop, they go right back into the water, right? But anyways, light set up. I was using blood worms at the beginning. I ran out of blood worms, so I decided to switch to the good old salted clam. Got about three bites today from fish that I am positive it was fish, but I hooked up only one. That could mean that my hooks may be too big. I'm not sure, you know, it is my first time fishing for winter flounder. If you guys notice in this video, their mouth is a little bit smaller than the rest of the other flounders, right? Which is why, you know, I'm, the gear that I'm using is already very small. Uh, the way they bite is uh, just like all the other flounders, I would like to point that out. You feel a few taps, you know, and once the fish is on, the line goes is lack. All the bites that I lost for fish was when I was jigging. I, initially, I had my setup on, and you know, I was casting and jigging. Later, I kind of got lazy, right? So I just decided to cast and leave it down there. I mean, it is a cold, chilly day. You guys don't see it through the camera, but my hands are kind of cold and I am all bundled up, right? But <laughs> this is just, this video is just for you guys to have an idea of what it is like to come here to do some winter flounder fishing, okay? I encourage it, you know, if you guys have the time and want to catch a new species or never tried before, hey, give it a shot, you know? I also heard that they are delicious, right? So, even though I came out today and I caught only one fish, hey, mission accomplished. That was a species number 189 for me. That's also something I would like to clarify. When I got that window, window pane flounder, I thought that was a species 189, but as it turns out, I miscounted my species, you know? I was working on my Smug Mug fish photo database recently, and I realized that I only had 188 species of fish counting the window pane flounder. So this one today, the winter flounder, make it makes it 189, you know? Uh, I think this is it for this video. Uh, very excited about next week. My dad is coming here to the United States. We're gonna go down to Florida. Expect a lot of footage here on the channel. But yeah, time was very limited for today. So we ran out of it. One fish, but sometimes all it takes is one fish, you know? Like I said, mission accomplished, right? Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you next time. Tie lines and take it easy.